park the car in the yard? How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? Okay guys, uh, this is an updated tutorial about how to make static collection objects in the Fallout 4 creation kit. I had done a prior one where I had made a bar and I kind of screwed some stuff up. I didn't realize that things were happening like that. So this is now the updated version. So. The first thing that you want to do is this is basically for buildings because you can see I got a lot of buildings in here that I've built. Uh, I'm doing a little warehouse here and this is pieces from the kit, all different pieces from the kit that I all fit together. Now what I do is I go ahead and I make sure my snap to grid and snap to angles all turned on when I build this stuff. And then if I, if I have to fix stuff, like stuff's overlapping or something and it won't, and the snapped grid is overlapping in it, or if it leaves a gap, then I turn it off to move it over. And then I use the X, C, and Z keys to move it. Now, once you get your, your building built, you can see I got a, uh, I got a ramp up here. Now, this ramp is not centered up, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move it over one. Uh, and let's see here. Yeah, see, that's, that's where this comes in. I'm going to turn my snap to grid off here. And I'm going to take and I'm just going to move it over like that. All right, once you got that done, you go ahead and you select all. You use just drag your cursor there and select everything. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and hold your control key and click on if you've got stairs or something like down here, a piece down here or something. Go ahead, hold your control key and click off of it so that it unhighlights it and then re-click it. Because that's where that will that will do the static collection. That is the um, vertex point where it rotates on. So once we got that done, we're going to right click on here and we are going to use make static collection. So that'll come up and you just put your whatever your uh tag is and i'm going to call this warehouse taffington because this is i'm going to use this for my taffington boathouse cleanup and then you hit return and it'll say input object window filter i'm just going to I always just put prefabs because that works. So I'm going to push OK, uh, let it do its thing, and there's the static collection. Now, to use it in one of your mods, you double click it, go to edit base, and what you're going to want to do is if you have a plugin, I have a plugin that's just for static collections that I make, so it'll be so it'll appear in that folder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this button that says "Recreate NIF from Data," and it is recreated. Uh, let's look at the date and time: 7:30 at 12:22. And we'll open up my Fallout 4 data folder here, go to meshes, go down, and it will appear in a folder called SCOL. 
and then it'll be whatever your plugin is if you know and then you want to look at the date and time 7 30 right here at 12 22 p.m we're going to open that mesh and there is your static collection now you can see what i was talking about where the uh where the uh, vertex point is that it'll rotate on that point so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go to my meshes mighty clean settlements architecture Taffington boathouse right here and I'm going to paste this in here now I have another one that I had made that is the original warehouse with the whole boat thing in here so I'm not going to use that one I'm going to use this one and this will be I'm going to name this workshop warehouse zero two just like that and that'll be fine that's all done i'm going to save this and then i'm going to open my taffington boathouse plugin that i'm working on and i'll show you how to input it into the game okay so here we are in my taffington boathouse uh rebuild i totally cleared it off and but i want to have a place for the workshop here over here uh so i made that uh warehouse i'm gonna put it right here now i'm gonna need to actually make the warehouse because i have my boathouse here and this is a static collection that i made great big static collection so what we're gonna do is is we're going to use that there and we're going to open that up and i'm going to call this taffington boathouse we're going to call this taffington warehouse and i'm going to change it to trump's warehouse just because just like that and i'm going to set the model we got it right here open that up it'll do that right there can't really see it but and you want to make sure that you put the keyword workshop stackable item with a one in here for actor values now if you need if you can't find this which you just all you do is add and type in workshop stack and you'll find it you'll start typing it but that's what you got to use that's so things don't fall through the floor when you put in the when you're in the workshop and you're you want to add stuff in like beds and stuff you put that on there it won't fall through the floor so we've got that there and I am going to go ahead and okay that just to confirm it and let it let it catch up right there I'm gonna reopen this because I want to do has distant LOD and I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna ch change that and I'm going to go here architecture Affington boathouse and I'm gonna choose this back the same one propagate zero so it all comes up push okay and I want to use this high detail LOD texture because it's actually using the regular textures but that's okay push okay save my mod just like that and I'm gonna go ahead oh, I don't want to change it I'm going to go ahead and drag it right into the render window here. And 
remember I said it'll rotate on that uh, pivot point, that vertex that I put in there. Let's go ahead and move it up so you can see it. See where it's rotating right on that? It's rotating right on that point because that's the last thing that I put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this and I'm going to put it about right uh no a little higher and i'm going to move it over of course i want to move it over here and kind of square it up with the dock now i can actually bring this all the way out into the water because it's got quite a bit there so that'll that'll work and Move it down. And that ramp will go right there. And then I, then all I have to do is cut the nav mesh out and nav mesh this part. I actually might want to come over to here and even it up. Uh, it doesn't need to be evened up. It's fine. Kind of just twist it a little bit just to make sure and we'll just add that in there so people can walk up there and you can then you can add stairs in or whatever you want you can add them in right now or do it in the workshop so that's all there is to that so i hope you guys learned something thanks for watching Whoa, whoa. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you guys like content, don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video on your social media. Leave comments on the video. That really helps. And if you want to if you want to directly support the channel, you can use the Ko-Fi link in the description or hit the join button or the thanks button underneath the video. Thanks for what again, thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, remember. Keep your powder dry, shoot straight, rookie, and remember that war, war never changes.